Should you bulk, cut or recomp? In this video from my new series, 5 Minute Friday, I pull back the curtain on various physiques that I found online, and I'll advise whether they should bulk, cut or recomp, helping you make an informed decision based on your current physique, all in just 5 minutes. Let's dive straight into it. So our first victim for today is the Pugmeister General. He's 65 kg, 7 foot 6, 7 foot 6? I think that's a typo. I'm 36 years old. He says he's been cutting for a year, and he's done a pretty decent job at it, to be fair. But now he's stuck in a rut. He's been at the same weight for a while. So yeah, standard stuff really. Man cuts for a long time, hits a plateau, and doesn't know what to do. Now I'm going to start off by saying congratulations with the cuts. It's, it's hard to say what body fat percentage you are because, <laughs> if I'm being totally honest, your body is almost as hairy as my butt crack. It's like a fucking Afghan rug. But if I had to guess, I'd probably say anywhere between 15 to 17% body fat. Now, just a quick tip for anyone, okay, who spends a year cutting and gets in, you know, decent condition. Get the hair removal cream out so you can show off and see what's actually underneath all of the hair, if you're hairy, that is. Now, what I will say, though, okay, is from these photos, this guy would look considerably leaner if his abs were more developed. And this tells me two things. He either completely neglects training his abs, or he thinks he's training abs by doing things like planks. But planks will bias your core, not your actual ab muscles. Your core is the deep lying muscles that surround the spine, whereas your abs, on the other hand, are the superficial muscles that you and everyone else can see. Exercises like cable crunches and hanging leg raises target the ab muscles. So if you're not doing them, you definitely should be. Planks, though, don't actually target the abdominal muscles. By all means, please keep doing planks because a strong core is important. But if you want to see your abs, then you need to train them specifically by using things like the exercises that I just mentioned. I actually did a video on how to train abs and how to get them to pop, which I will link at the end of this video. Now, as far as what this guy, or you watching this, if you're in a similar position to this guy in terms of your body fat percentage, should do, and whether you should bulk, cut, or recomp, that's what I'm going to explain right now. Now, what you need to consider is he's been cutting for a while. He's mentioned earlier that he's been cutting for just over a year. He's sitting at, like I said, sub 20% body fat. He's on poverty calories, and he's training five days a week, which is a lot, and he's nailing 13,000 steps a day. Now, if he was my client, here are the two options that I would present to him. And I'd give him the option of, you know, giving it another eight week blast by adding in some cardio, supplementing in some legal but powerful fat burners, and to implement a rapid fat loss formula designed to get you to lose fat fast, especially those last stubborn few pounds. For context, I used this formula last summer and managed to shift eight kilograms of fat in just 59 days. And you can invest in the same program if you want, and there's a link down in my bio. And my thinking for suggesting that, right, is, you know, if you've already got this lean, you've come this far, and, you know, what's an extra eight weeks to really try and lose those extra few pounds to get those abs to pop? Or option number two, because he's, you know, sitting at a relatively healthy level of body fat, he's in a really good position to start building muscle. And my suggestion would be to take calories up to circa 2,000, 2,200-ish calories to start, you know, take steps down from 13,000, I think he was doing, to around six to 8,000 per day, and to make sure that his training program is built around the four muscle building principles, monitor his weight, gaining around 1% of his total body weight per month to make sure that the weight he is gaining is mostly muscle. So that would be a second option to go into a muscle building block. And then obviously make sure that he takes measurements and progress photos so he can monitor his progress. Now, this guy is clearly already a patient man, and that's admirable, and he's proven that with his year-long cuts. And while fat loss can happen pretty fast when you use the right approach, building muscle, on the other hand, is a far lengthier process. So if you are transitioning from a fat loss block into a muscle building block, just be prepared for slower and less obvious gains until at least month four to six. Here's that link on how to train your ab videos and to get them to pop. Thanks for your time and attention, and I'll see you in the next video.